we're back. Today was so much fun! Ah, uh, seems my timing could hardly have been better. Huh? <gasps> Father? When did you get back? When only Klaus came to greet us, I assumed I wouldn't be seeing you while I was in the Graham. <laughs> Fortunately, I was able to take some time away from my engagements to see you and your class. And while I was in town, I also had some business to attend to with the Guild, which is what brings me here. It does my heart good to see you again, Laura. It seems you've grown since I last saw you. P father please don't treat me like a child. But it's good to be back. It's good to have you back. Ah, these must be your friends. Right. These are my classmates from Class 7, and my partners in this field study. Then let me welcome you to Lagram. I'm Viscount Arsaid, the ruling lord here. My daughter has told me all about you in her letters. So it's a pleasure to finally be able to put faces to the names.
he's really gonna duel the Radiant Blade Master! But is he really strong enough to beat him? He doesn't stand a chance. Receiving instruction from him would be one thing, but to duel a master like Viscount Arsade... Looks like the odds aren't in his favor, then. Reem, please reconsider. You too, Father. Stop this nonsense. Please, Laura, stay out of this. This duel is between Reen and myself. Stand aside. <sighs> Are you certain this is what you want? I am. It's an honor to have the opportunity to test my mettle against the renowned Radiant Blade Master. Thank you for accepting. I admire your spirit. Now, show me what a Swordsman of the Eight Leaves is capable of. What the? Whoa! Amazing! He can wield such a massive blade so deftly with just one hand? Ah, <sighs> unbelievable! That's Galan Charles. A great sword that's been passed down in the Arsade family for generations. It was once wielded by the ancestor of our house, the second in command of the Eisenritter. I can sense incredible power within him. He may be even stronger than my master, which means that against him... Reen Schwarzer of the Eight Leaves One Blade School begin a rank. I stand ready. Victor S. Arsade. Master and successor of the Arsade School. Ready. Begin! Now, show me what you're capable of. Here we go! Huh. Turn. There. You will not escape. You will not escape. I'm sorry, everyone. Ouch. This is why I tried to stop them. I could barely even see what happened. It's not like Reen is weak. It's more that his opponent's strength is so far beyond his. What are you doing? This duel is not yet over. To your feet, at once! Father? I know you're capable of more than this, but if you're still too afraid to assert your true strength, then I have no choice but to force your hand. Now, show me! <gasps> he disappeared? No. Too slow. Is this what Reen is afraid of? Excellent! This is as it must be. This is the power that slumbers deep within you. As long as you continue to cower in the face of it, you'll remain forever at a standstill. I want to see your true potential. Now! You will not escape! Uh, 
Reen! Reen! Wow! That duel was crazy! Yeah, though it all makes sense now. Why Reen asked the Viscount for a duel in the first place. You fool! Are you shouldering such a burden alone all this time? Are you all right, Reen? Father, there was no need to go that far. I'm fine. He held back. I admit defeat. I'm honored to have seen the Radiant Blade Master's signature technique. <laughs> I think you're finally starting to understand. What we call power is simply a measure of one's raw strength. Without knowing how to properly apply it, it has no real meaning. However, when you deny the power you already possess, you're only shortchanging yourself. You're right. I feel like I finally get what my master was trying to teach me about the laws of nature. But, I'm afraid understanding that is only going to make me even more uncertain. Reen. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Stand up, dust yourself off, and step forward. Grapple with that fear each day if that's what it takes. Uncertainty weighs on the hearts of all people, but it's far preferable to standing still. seems to have cleared. So, that's the Saint's Castle. You can't come out right now. Someone might notice you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. The Radiant Blade Master may be scarily perceptive, but I doubt he'll notice my little moonlit stroll. Honestly. Well, what do you think? I'm not sure how much we can count on the boy. It seems he's finally found what he needs to move past what's been holding him back. But I'm still not certain he's going to make it in time. Oh, that's not for us to decide. Our role is to watch over and guide him, nothing more. I don't want you to do anything like that ever again. Fine, fine. Setting that aside for now. I'm sure you've already sensed it, but there's definitely something inside that castle. That place is out of our jurisdiction, but... I have a bad feeling about this one. Me too. I suppose all we can do is point Laura toward it and hope she notices too. Drinks are on me someday!